Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to demo how to create custom streaming channel in Salesforce, how to push the message to the custom streaming channel, and how to subscribe the custom streaming channel in Mule application. Now I will log into the Salesforce and I will create the custom streaming channel. login.salesforce.com I will enter my username password click login I will go to the app launcher click the app launcher I will search the streaming channel. I will click streaming channels. I will click the new to create the new streaming channel. I will give the streaming channel name here. A name should start with the slash u slash. So slash u slash slash hello channel that's the name of the custom streaming channel click save so we have created the custom streaming channel slash u slash hello channel now i will go to the any point studio i will create new mule project file new mule project I will give the name streaming channel my streaming channel I will click finish I will drag the HTTP listener I will add connector configuration I will keep this configuration to default. I will give the path. Now I will add the Salesforce connected to the project. Click add modules. Select Salesforce, drag it here. I will keep the version 10.13.3, click add. Salesforce connector has been added to the project. In your case, if you do not find the Salesforce connector in your palette, you might need to import from Exchange. I have already created a video on how to import module from the Exchange. You can watch that video. I will provide the link in description. Now, to send the message to the custom streaming channel, I need to drag the put generic event method to the flow. Now I will add the connector configuration. We need to choose a authentication mechanism to connect to the Salesforce. These are the options for this demo. I will use basic authentication. Basic authentication requires username, password, security token. To get the username, password and security token, we need to create a developer account in Salesforce. We can create a developer account using this link. I have already created a developer account and I got the username, password and security token. I will use this username, password and security token for basic authentication. I will copy the username here. I will copy the security token. and paste it here. Now I will enter my password. Click OK. To push the message to the custom streaming channel, we need the channel ID. 
to get the channel id i need to go back to the salesforce i will switch to the salesforce classic view i will click all tab plus sign and i will click streaming channel now i will click edit here i will select the streaming channel id click add click save we got the streaming channel id so i will copy the streaming channel id for channel slash u slash hello channel go back to studio i will copy the channel id here now i will add the transform message component i will change the format to json and i will add simple message message push to custom channel now i will subscribe the custom channel so i will drag the subscribe channel listener here i need to give the channel name custom channel name is slash u slash hello channel i will select this one now i will drag the transform message component change the format of the event payload to json now i will log the event so i need a logger component log the event so i will say log payload i will save the project right click run the project project has been deployed and we have subscribed the slash u slash hello channel i will clear the console now i will invoke this resource slash push message and push the message okay we forgot one thing we didn't build the message so before i will invoke this uh, resource push message i need to build the payload that can be sent to the custom streaming channel so i will drag transform message component here i will send the payload payload hello there okay i need to send array so i'll put array here and payload as a field so we will send this hello there to this uh, custom streaming channel now i will save the project again it will be redeployed
okay it has been redeployed and channel has been subscribed i will clear the console go to the browser click new tab and here i will invoke the push message resource localhost push message resource this is the resource that we created here this one right here slash push message so i'm invoking slash push message resource here click enter okay we got the message message push to the custom channel so we have already pushed the message to the custom channel let's go back to console and here we got the event because here we are subscribing to the channel and uh, we got the event hello there that's what we are sending from here hello there so we have inbound source here the events is coming here then it is executing the rest of the flow and here we are logging the event that's how we are getting hello there this is all in this video if you like the video click the like button and subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you very much